What's up, YouTube people? So this is an update on working on my putt putt crappy uh, Honda. Yeah, I got shit on my face. So um, head gasket, two hundred and ninety four thousand miles or something like that. Well, I'm like sixty miles shy of three hundred thousand miles. So uh, every fifty thousand miles, I gotta throw a head gasket. No big deal. You know, buy a head gasket, copper spray the hell out of it, toss it back on there. And I'm good to go. Um, so this time around, I did a quick hone job, a dirty one. I got one of these cool little flex hone brushes. Looks like a big old fucking bottle brush, which pretty much is. I've had this for years. I've used it on VW, Hondas, and whatever else has a, I forget, 90 bore or less. Uh, 89. So, uh, this time around, I made the mistake and grabbed the wrong can of WD-40. So, usually I spray it with this or normal. And I have a can of silicone, or not silicone, uh, white lithium. And these effing cans look the same when you're in a fucking rush. Which ended up glazing the pistons, or the piston walls. So my pistons were so gummed up that this ring land for the oil control does not move it doesn't it's compressed it doesn't do shit and that's where my all my oil consumption was coming from this is uh the original original motor that spun a bearing because i did not know that these things eat that much effing oil even my minivan eats oil hondas especially vtech hondas they guzzle oil so um long story short Bought new rings, cleaned up the pistons, bought new bearings since I figured since I'm in there, I might as well do the bearings. Well, no one's been in there before, so I figured, hey, standard size bearings. So I put the standard size bearings in, and they look like this. Let's get a better lighting. So it turns out Honda Mitch matches their bearing sizes for the rod journals and even the mains. So you got to take the pan off, look at the bottom block, and there's numbers on the cranks and the rods. And then they translate into this stupid shit. So mine had, you know, B, 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 A, then 2, 3, 2, 3. And that correlates into different colored bearings. And I had to do a lot of Googling to figure out what bearings are what, and turns out, Standard size bearings is not what I needed. I needed 25 thousandths oversize on three of them and 50 thousandths on the other one. So, read a fucking manual or Google the shit before you decide to touch a motor that you really don't fuck with that much. So, because I didn't read, it cost me a boatload of my time trying to figure out what the fuck is what. And then a whole lot of Googling to figure out, you know, where my bearings are okay. You know, blah blah blah. Yeah, I probably should have plastic gauged it, but I'm doing it in the car with the girdle for the main crank still in place. So trying to plastic gauge that is near impossible. But I figured, you know, just like any other car I had, you know, you order a set of standard bearings, hey, they'll be all the same. So AutoZone Pet Boys, all you motherfuckers that are selling these bearing kits saying, oh yeah, you know, one size fits all kind of bullshit, you know, if you got standard bearings, well, you're in a world of hurt. Now, if you had a motor that's been, you know, refurbished, whatever, that machine shop hopefully cut everything the same fucking size. Yeah, this is like the old GEX motors back in the day of Volkswagen where, you know, every fucking bearing was pretty much a different size because they'd only clean up one or two or whatever. Never make it the same size. Just clean up enough to get a fucking bearing on it. <clears throat> My brother's bug is example one of those. I picked up that motor... 19 years ago, we rebuilt it four years ago. Turns out, you know, it had like legit German parts in it, but the crank was cut four different bearing sizes. Thank God the case was land, uh, line honed, but uh, ended up buying a CB crank and uh, all the bearings are the same size now. So, uh, long story short, um, I boo booed because I was rushing this because I need that stupid fucking car. To drive to work because it gets 32 to the fucking gallon for being a 19 year old car 
The cabbie's nice, but it only gets like 22, 23. So, you know, you drive 150 miles every day and you're losing 10 miles a gallon, you're, you're going to pay for it. Um, so, where was I? So, uh, yeah, um, not all manufacturers <laughs> do this, but Honda chooses to, on all their motors, have Mitch Match bearings all over the place. And there could be up to seven different bearings for this fucking motor. Or was it eight? Um, their color chart goes like red, pink, blue, brown, green, yellow, black. And um, they all vary by a couple thousandths, but a couple thousandths um, is the difference between your uh, rod slapping the bearing and eating it out like mine did and having low, low oil pressure once it warmed up. Now I got lucky enough it didn't chew the fuck out of my crank and um, I ended up having to do the math and thank God the bearings that I pulled out of there actually had markings on them. Three of them were the same, one was different and by going over that stupid alphabet chart, whatever I fucking did with that, um, figure out what was what. So I had three yellows and one green, so cylinder two was uh, the 50 thousandths oversize. Uh, the numbers on the bottom are kind of like what's what. Um, had to do the math over again because they have two charts, one for the, the main bearings and one for the crank bearings. So I know I'm rambling and got some shake cam going on. Um, but yeah, that's what I've been up to. So it took a spare motor to double check that those numbers were really there. Um, two head gaskets, the original head that I had on there to see if that head was that warp because when I put it together, it smoked um, like a fucking uh, coal train and um, ended up having to pop the head off, um, rehone it, and then clean everything up with fucking gasoline. I actually filled up cylinders with some gas and fucking rotated it to clean off the, the skirts and everything and it fucking finally set. So it doesn't smoke, doesn't overheat, it runs. Uh, the valve train does do this weird little rattle thing, but from what I read, it's typical Honda because they got these stupid spring-loaded gizmos that hold the VTEC arms down. And um, I guess they just need a little bit more adjusting, so that's what I'm doing right now. But I thought I'd do a little update on the putt-putt car. The grief I go through to fucking fix shit, because family, kids, no money left over, and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, um, don't, don't be afraid to tackle your own projects. Just fucking be aware that uh, some shit isn't like other manufacturers. Like, like I thought, I'm like, the motor's never been cracked open, you know. These should be standard bearings. Honda has eight different standard bearings that could be factory. Um, uh, what else is new? Well, the buggy runs, um, looks like shit because, uh, uh, the radiator ended up guzzling out and, um, water spotted the shit out of it and it's spray paint. It's fucking spray paint. It is six year old spray paint. A little turtle wax or renew orange, whatever. Yeah, you know, makes the spray paint look new again. But uh, for being spray paint, it looks good. What do you want? You know, you you want a fucking eight thousand dollar paint job? You know, pay for an eight thousand dollar paint job. I had eighty dollars, so I bought eighty dollars with the spray cans and made it work. So uh, yeah, um, gouge the fuck out of them. The other ones didn't look too bad, but, you know, like I said, thought it was in there, but, you know, lesson learned. Um, so, yeah, Honda, 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 Honda. <sighs> so, that's my rant and rave about uh, dealing with the silliness of other manufacturers so uh thanks for watching like subscribe post any questions you got comments and um yeah that's the wackiness of uh dealing with this shit uh for shits and giggles in case you guys don't know what the fuck VTEC looks like on a damn honda um uh, let's see 
better lighting. So here's the stupid little adjusters I was talking about. Here's the fucking crazy valve train for it. So there's actually this third rocker arm rides on that third cam lobe. Better view of them, see how much bigger it is. So uh, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and hopefully uh, I'll come back with some more uh, actual Volkswagen slash rotary shit and not crappy, you know, 19 year old fucking Honda shit that no one gives a fuck about. So uh, once again, thanks for watching. Peace out.